Right guys, welcome back to Fog Racing here, breaking news and it's about time. Red Bull have announced that Sergio Perez will be joining, he will be racing alongside Max Verstappen next year in the second seat. And Alexander Albon has been demoted to test driver for the 2021 season. And I mean, to me, justice has been done. Um, in both cases, both cases, Sergio Perez was without a drive for next year. He definitely deserves one. And not only does he deserve a drive, I think he deserves a drive at a top team. I mean, he, he could have got maybe got a seat at Haas, but I, I don't think... I think, he's a, I think he's a lot more deserving than a, a seat at a team that is rarely ever going to be challenging for points. I think he deserves a top drive. He's not really had it. People say that he squandered his chance at McLaren. Um, I'm going to have to disagree because McLaren in, in 2013, well, weren't, they weren't that good. Yeah, they weren't that good. And, and, and in fairness, Perez did a decent job comp uh, alongside Button well, anyway. So people are making it as if Button destroyed them and that wasn't the case. Button, I think, Finished a wee bit ahead, but it was pretty close. Button beat Hamilton, so I mean, if Hamilton's this fucking god that's won seven titles, then you know, plus Perez was inexperienced back then. I mean, we're talking about a guy that's almost fucking what eight years ago, nine years ago, so let's cut the guy some slack. He's outperformed Stroll, which I'm not saying is the greatest thing to ever, but I mean, Stroll, I don't think it's as bad as people make out. He beat Ocon, he's beat Hulkenberg, who a lot of people. Said to serve the Red Bull drive, so who was actually underrated and pretty good. So I don't know. Perez has beat a lot of decent teammates, and he deserves his drive. He obviously got his first win this season. I mean, the guy has picked up a lot of podiums in his career. I, I forget the amount of times where he's managed to stay out and do long stints. He's been always been good in his tires, and that's what helped him get podiums. And he's going to be the kind of driver that I think Red Bull need. I can honestly see next season. He's going to be where Red Bull needed Albon to be. I, I can see him, I, I can see him like staying out longer, and you, you're going to have the Mercedes drivers are going to have to overtake Perez to get into the lead of the race, and that's exactly what Red Bull need. And that's how it's the same scenario as this season. Yes, yeah, so they've got the same sort of pace. Like I don't think Red Bull want their second driver to be challenging for wins outright on pace, but they need someone that is going to be there after the first round of pit stops. Albon. I mean, it's a joke. At Albert, by the first round of pit stones, that Al Albert was nearly Albert. Al Albon. <laughs> Albon was gone. Fucking Al Al Albon. Al Al I mean, the guy was. You, you get into the pit stop, and he's not even within a pit stop at Hamilton. So, Aye, and, that's if, and that's if he's fourth. Aye, if normally he's like halfway down the fucking grid. But I don't think with press that's not going to be the case. I don't think Mercedes aren't going to have the option, or we can try an undercut. We've got two cars against. Uh, Max here, we can do this, we can do that, but they're not going to be able to double team Max because Perez is going to be, he's going to be there and he's going to be, you know, an option for Red Bull. As for Albon, um, people can say he's been unlucky, people can say that, you know, the second Red Bull seat's cursed, they can say whatever they want, right? It's, it's been diabolical. The guy has had the worst season, I think. I, I'm, I'm struggling to think of a worse season someone's had. If there's been one, let me know. I, I, I'm legit all time in F1 since I've watched. I can't think of a driver who's underperformed more than Albon has this season. May, I mean, the only thing we felt is the Ferrari car has been pretty shite this year. Yeah. I, I don't know. I can't think yet. I mean, Albon should be finishing fourth minimum in the standings and by a country mile. I mean, look, look at you, you look at these races where, where Max and, and the Mercedes have like finished fucking a minute in front of the dollar cars and Albon's not even fourth like what the hell I mean people can say he's, oh, he, he's under, he un, doesn't deserve to lose his seat or whatever but he does I mean he shouldn't have really been in F1 anyway like, huh? I don't know he didn't, he didn't I don't think he deserved I don't think he even deserved the promotion to Red Bull I'm pretty sure he only got it because they were demoting Gasly and it would look stupid if they were promoting Kefiat again so I think the guy locked into the Red Bull seat he wasn't ready I mean he didn't even do anything Sorry. So he, I mean, what did he do at Toro Rosso or Alfa to compared to what Gasly's done? What did he do to show he deserved the drive? He won a race. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So good that he's gone. I mean, who knows if if he comes back one day and fucking wins a the title, then I'll eat my words and admit that I know nothing. But funny thing is, so people be like, oh, people see what about those two races Hamilton took him out? That's different. If it was like a championship battle and it was close, that was just two races. Where but he even might have won. even those two races, he he locked into it. He looked into it because oh. of the safety car. Let's let's not pretend that he was 
about to get a win on pace, you know what I mean? He's fucking shit. Like, I'm, not, I'm not saying, like, you, you can make a case that Gasly lucked in to his win at Monza, and you make a case, I'm not even going to say Presley, because I think Presley won that merit, yeah, the Mercedes got a wee bit shafted, it, but, I mean, Pres, but Gasly had the pace in Monza. I mean, see these races were Albon, like Brazil. You had to overtake both Alphas, you had to get the stuff done. Albon, Albon was nowhere in Brazil. Until the safety car. Yep. So, I mean... And in Austria. So, let's, I mean, let's not make it as if, oh, the guy was, like, right there and he was in pole position in case something happened. He was fucking nowhere and he got the luck of the safety car and then obviously Hamilton took him out, like, but, you know, that is what it is. And, uh, aye, so oh, Perez, yeah. Perez is going to be the Red Bull driver next season. I'm excited. I don't think he'll beat Max, but I think he... I think I'm actually shocked they've done it. Yeah, I'm shocked that... I think they need it. I think Red Bull have realised, look, these last couple of seasons, we've been a one, we've been a one, t- one team driver, one driver team. Red basically. Bull need to make it a two on one against Mercedes, even if they don't have the fastest car, because the amount of off weekends Bottas does have, where nothing happens, because he'll, he'll still finish third, because Albon's nowhere and the rest of the grid's nowhere. It's embarrassing See when they claim like Red. Uh, I mean, does Albon not feel shit though? See, like when they go to races and all about, oh, can. Can Max challenge the Mercedes? It should be can Red Bull challenge the Mercedes? Well, I'm not sure, Jabroni. Can I get a top 10 finish? Like, like, do you know what I mean? So. Anyway, though. Anyway, that's it. If the field's the same as it is this year, I think Perez will pick up multiple. Well, not, I think he'll pick up a shitload of podiums and maybe even a win or two. Uh, yes. Can he finish any higher than fourth in the standings? Maybe. I don't know. Depends. Depends. Will he finish any lower than his fourth? Definitely not. If if Red Bull have the advantage over the rest of the teams that, that they have, then uh, definitely not. But it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Like I see this season, uh, it's the same three. It's the same three. It's so boring. At least next season, you're you're going to have a guy that's consistently up there alongside Max, Bottas, and Lewis, and that'll just make it a wee bit more exciting. And uh, yeah, good to see Perez get his opportunity. And that's going to do it then. So let's know. Do you agree with this decision? Uh, or do you think Albon should have been kept? If you think Albon should have been kept, then uh, let me know why. Because <laughs> I couldn't give you I couldn't give you any reasons. Like, so. And uh, Hulkenberg looks like he's out of a drive. But don't get... See, people use the excuse, uh, oh, but look at Gasly. It happened to him. Well, so we just keep Albon because it happened to a one-over guy. And it, oh, oh, well, the, the, the car's cursed. So let's just leave it at that. I don't think Gasly did as bad as Albon, did he? So what if the car's cursed? You need to keep on trying to fucking put new people in it. So, no, but you know what I mean? If the car's cursed, that doesn't change the fact... Well, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't recall Ricardo being absolute passionate. I know, but... No, but do you get people use that as a point? Do you know what I mean? Aye, aye, well... What, what's the point? Even if it is cursed, well, fucking someone else needs to get put in it. See, see next season, right? See if Perez is struggling to get a Q2 and... He's qualifying like eighth, and he moves back three places, and then he comes out and says, "Ah, it was a tough recovery drive." Then you know what? Fair enough. I'll hold my hands up and go. Well, maybe Albon wasn't that bad after all, but that's not going to happen, guys, because Perez is going to be challenging next season at the top of the field. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let us know what you think down below, and until next time, peace.